Hey guys, it's Six from Snap, and I'm back with another video. This is, well, obviously from the Canon video, you can see that this is where I made my Canon. But I've kind of turned it into a testing ground for redstone circuits and uh, mechanisms and things. And I've made a lot of progress with some circuits that I might use in the future. Like I made, well, I didn't make it, but I found a very compact D, fl uh, D flip flop, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know what the JK flip flop was, so I did some testing on it over here, and I don't really see any use for it because it's a pretty odd circuit, but still. Uh, that's a decoder that I made. It's, pr it's really bad. Don't ever use this decoder. I didn't. I don't really care about how big it is, but I made it, so it's pretty cool. But it's huge and it's really slow and it's really bad, so don't ever use that. But this is my four bit two instruction. To instructional count, uh, program counter. I got the idea from the uh, the Jess Sassin, J E W -S, S A W -S, S I N, I think. Jess Sassin. Anyway, I'll link you to him in the description. Uh, I got the idea from him when he made a kind of like a one bit program counter with four in uh, four instructions. But I thought I'd make a four bit because you can probably tell from my other videos. But I'm quite keen on. Uh, a CPU in, in Minecraft, and he's going along the same lines. So, yeah, I kind of stole the idea from him and kind of developed on it. And all the credit, well, not all the credit, obviously, because I made it, <laughs> but most of the credit goes to him for giving me the idea using delays. So, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. Let's say these are the opcodes, and the idea is that you'd put in your opcode, and your value would be over here somewhere. And you'd say, okay, my value's 5, I'm going to opcode add it first, or whatever. And then I'm going to save that to the RAM, save, or whatever. And then opcode that. So you would save that, and then the value would have that be uh, done to it. It would go through the output, go back into the ALU, and have that done to it. So this is the counter. It goes 0, 1, 1, 0, and then 1, 0, 0, 1. And then you can obviously change these to some stuff. One zero one zero one one zero one. Uh, so basically, how this works: this is an AND gate, a vertical AND gate that you might have seen in my ALU videos. If you haven't, go and uh, watch them. They're quite interesting, or at least I think they are. Um, so you put your inputs on the top layer of the AND gate, so that the value will only go in if both that and the button are on. Uh, the button goes underneath and powers the other gate from beneath. You, can, you can't really see it from here, but power goes off, turns them all off, values go out, and there's the output. The values then go through some delays. The first 4-bit instruction goes through one delay, the second one goes through five, so that there's a lot of time between them to propagate and calculate because it's going to be quite big uh, and then the values go onto a bus out the bus similarly to my LU need to turn around, curve go to the output 360 ish okay. so yeah that's how it works it's quite simple uh, I got the idea from the uh, Jassassin I think that's his name the Jassassin as I've said um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comment, message me. Please like and favourite this video if you want. <laughs> Subscribe, all that rubbish. And another thing about the server that me and Will were hosting. I'm not sure if any of you were uh, received the message because I sent a bulletin out, but apparently it didn't work. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing that anymore, me and Will. Because I Will's really enthusiastic and I just like to take my time. He's quite... I don't really want to say pushy, but he's always... Because I like to plan things in advance, and I always go, wait, let's think about this. Whereas he would go, hey, Ollie, let's do this. And then you'd get it wrong, and then he'd think about it, and then he'd correct it. But that would just kind of frustrate me without... Because I'm very... I have OCD, I swear, so I always like to make things perfect. Um, and he's very good with redstone, but he was just a bit too enthusiastic for me. Obviously, he's very... That's a good thing, but I've kind of overdone redstone in a while. 
So I took a break and then this. Uh, this only took me about 45 minutes. It wasn't that bad. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, go check out the Jess Assassin. Links in the description below. Uh, no more server time with me and Will. Uh, we're not, we're not going to do that anymore. Although we might just do it for fun. Like, just randomly play together, but nothing with Redstone, really. And, uh, although the Jess Assassin is making a server for Redstone stuff, which I might go on because I don't think they're as enthusiastic or as, like, hyper, I suppose, as Will. Maybe they plan things a lot more. Uh, Will won't be angry with me when I say that he's very good, but he's a bit too quick. So, needs a bit more thinking, which is where I come in. So, yeah. I'm going to stop talking now because I've gone on for a while. Comment, like, favourite, subscribe, please. <laughs> uh, helps me a lot. And thank you for watching. Ow.